Hello everybody, Darren here, and welcome back to episode 31 in my second Let's Play series for Anno 1800. Now in the last few episodes, we went through every consumer good in the game, and worked out the total that we'd need to satisfy the demands for everyone. Now we're almost done with that, we just need a little bit extra for the Scholar's Luxuries. Now, while we're doing that, we're going to continue our search for different animals and artifacts. Now, it's been a little while since I've actually played. It's great to be back. I love my days where I have time with Anno. We left off where we have a World's Fair event running at the moment. It's almost done. I've queued up in the Research Institute a new peer, um, peer upgrade permit. So I want to make another one of our peers specialized in one particular good. I want to go to the New World and change one of the ones to Coffee. Because I've noticed that Coffee is just getting backed up and slowing down in weird ways. So I'm probably going to change one of these ports here to coffee to see what we can do. Now you may have heard the old man there saying that there was a workforce a shortage. And uh, I've also taken a quick look around and noticed that over here in Hopefell, where I actually need to repair this thing. So maybe we could get going on this right now. So let's pick up some wood. Uh, yeah, let's give him a decent amount. Bring it up to Hopefell, deliver the wood here, and they should be able to repair that building or the gas mines, because they're obviously quite important. Having all four running means that we can have two gas-fired power plants back home. Luckily, we have thousands of tons of gas uh, back home, so no no worries about running out of it anytime soon. But you may notice it's going to put a stress on our technician workforce because they're actually um, underpopulated. They are lacking canned goods. Now, this one's a really weird one. No idea what's going on here. Um, I've just You can see that I've actually just been checking it. So in the... Arctic route is the old world to Arctic supply route where we bring up brass, schnapps, canned goods and coffee and then we take back gold ore. I don't know how, but the couple of ships that we have up here on these routes have actually taken on coffee into multiple slots. Now there's no way that that should happen, but it has happened. People could maybe scan back through the old episodes and find out. This is part of the reason why I want to like just isolate coffee into its own peer route. Uh, but anyway, either way, I've told both of these to pause, and they're just going to come into the edge of wherever they are, so we can unload them, because they're just full of stuff right now, so they're not picking up anything, they're not dropping anything off. So I just want to double-check it, right? So they're dropping off any gold they have, and if they can't, they will throw it overboard. That's that rule there, discard cargo. Then they're going to pick up 100 brass, or at least attempt to. They're going to go then to swords, so this is in the Old World Lusk, our production island to swords, our main island. They're going to attempt to pick up schnapps, canned goods, and coffee. And then they're going to go bring it to King William Island, drop it all off, and then pick up gold ore. So here's something I noticed. They could wait to unload. It might be a bit risky, but I'm going to do it anyway. The reason this could be risky to wait to unload is just generally because if they unload all the schnapps, they unload all the brass, but they take a long time, for instance, to unload canned goods because it's full. These are all, you know, these are multiple different goods that all have different consumption rates, so you might be waiting... You're basically slowing everything down to the one that's getting consumed the least, uh, which is just a little dangerous, but I'm going to do it. Your I'm going to do it nevertheless and see how it goes. Anyway, when they do that, they'll wait to unload, and then they'll pick up all the thing, all the um, gold ore that they can. There's not ever that much. There's usually only about 50 anyway. Uh, right, so I'm going to accept that. Now, we're going to go over to the um, ships themselves. Now, I've, this is weird. I've told this ship to pause. Where is it going? Look at that. It's just going away from its route. What the hell is going on? Yeah, look How at it. Thrilling. A renowned personage has arrived. Thank you. Uh, so, by the way, some people say, like, you know you can automate that where you don't have to click it. I like clicking it, so. <laughs> I do know that, but yeah, I like clicking it. Some people are also asking me, like, how'd you get the option? It's, there's a, an option in the game settings that came with the patch. Because people used to complain about having to do that. So they made it so that you don't have to do that. Anyway, this is weird. I don't know where this ship is going. It's like sailing off on its own thing. Maybe, maybe it's just going to the closest port, which if that's the case, that's fair enough. All right, so I'm just going to merge that up, throw that overboard, throw that overboard. Actually, you know what? Just throw it all overboard and just go back on your route. Now, now that you're set. And then this one as well. Whoops, wrong one. The Hot Kipper. So that's got nothing now. And then this one is just carrying a boatload of coffee for whatever reason. Again, I don't really care. Just throw it all overboard. We'll take, I'll take some of it with me and just manually bring it up here, drop it, and then put them back on the route. So I just want to fix this. I, again, no idea. Maybe when I assigned the ship, they already had some stuff on them or something, but the way the, for those who, re I mean, we're deep into the series now, but if you, if you don't know already, the way it works is 
these are slots dedicated to picking up just that thing. They're told to pick up 50 coffee in this slot, just the sixth slot, that's all. They should never ever pick up coffee in any other slot. It should never happen, it, sh it should be impossible. <laughs> so I, I have no idea how that's, you know, happened, but whatever. We'll drop this off. And now we'll tell them to go back on the route. Everyone's reset, so hopefully that'll just work now. Uh, so, I've also manually brought some canned goods up here, just to get them started. And I'll talk about that in a second. Canned goods is a bit of an issue. And we'll drop their planks off. Right, so they should have everything they need now to grow again. They've got their canned goods growing. That should bring them back up to 20, which should bring them back up to um, a positive workforce. So this ship can come back. So, you might be wondering, oh, what's wrong with canned goods? Um, essentially, I don't know. <laughs> It seems like we based it off of Docklands, right? Canned Goods comes into our production island here of Lusk. And we use Docklands to judge how much we're going to need. Now, without boring people, because I know I do go through this quite a lot. This was listed at something like 115 based on the production rates that we make. But obviously, there's a lot of travel time in taking that to the Arctic. First of all, it goes to swords and then it goes to the Arctic. So there's like double amount of you know extra waiting to load and unload and all of that sort of stuff. So I've, I've rapidly, or not rapidly, I've greatly increased the amount of canned goods we take in. We should be totally fine for gold and steel. That should be all okay. And uh, hopefully that increase now will keep the Arctic going without any issues. So that's pretty much the only things that seem to have gone wrong, which generally speaking, wasn't that much considering all the stuff we've been changing. People were worried about gramophones and other things. Everything's fine. Don't worry about it. One thing that is a bit a bit low is that uh, steam motors are quite low. So I have to pause this building every now and then to build up an excess if I want to make a ship, which I do. I want to make, um, I think, two great reefers and another cargo ship. So we're going to be spending a bit of influence there. Now again, great, great reefer is definitely not worth it. I'll say that a million times over, but it's all part of the plan. And you'll notice that we run out of stuff every now and then. People had mentioned before that the numbers aren't like set in stone, and that is kind of true. I've noticed that we're running out of glass much faster than we should be. Again, I've double, I double checked this now in between episodes. I was like, yeah, this, this is how much we should be consuming. Like in terms of glass, 37 is the consumption rate of this island. We don't take any off the island. 37. 37 tons per minute. So at 37 tons per minute, from what I can tell, that should be, I can't remember the number, but it should be what we've listed in Docklands. And yet we run out seemingly four or five minutes early. Not that it's really a problem. We're still making all the consumer goods just fine. We're using up all the glass that we need to, and we're not running out of anything. It's just that uh, anything that we consume, that is. Just a bit strange. I don't know. Maybe people have an answer. Some people did say like, "Oh, the numbers aren't you know, d you know, totally exact." That you might get a bit, a bit of um, a margin of error here and there. But this is way off. You know, this is like four or five minutes running. The building won't be running with anything. So I'm not too sure about that. I don't even know how then to gauge how much I'd need if I can't look at the statistics screen. Then how am I supposed to get like? How am I supposed to know? <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, um, so our World's Fair is kicked off. Let's get the ancient architecture. Alrighty, so three epics. An Olympian temple remains, a Mesoan house, and a Drakar carving. Fair enough. Uh, let's just run this again. Keep going to, going, to, going, to, going to keep doing the... Maybe actually we could do something different. Could we try... Do you get animals through this? Archaeology and ethnography, botany and horticulture. I don't think you do. Alright, let's just do this again. So we need furs. We have that. Goulash. Yep. Chocolate and cigars. Totally fine. Don't have to do anything. Great. Uh, so that's all good. So what I'm going to have to do is I want to increase the roots of different things. So we're going to go to Cape Trelawney. This is all part of a, a large plan to finish off the um, scholars, that is. Also, one thing I was thinking of doing here is actually we can now make these town halls. Because we've got so much influence. Start spending that, developing this place a little better. Beatific? Beatific? Bishopess. Range increase for churches and attractiveness increase. Okay, let's go with that. There's a church in here. What else can we do? There's a fire station here as well. Let's do that one. And then Gordon the Master Grocer. Happiness provides needs. Residents are provided with beer. That's nice. That's a lot of houses. Want to eventually get rid of all the farmer residences here and have them all be workers. Uh, we could put this guy in again. Fire Chief Mills. He's going to look over this entire little island, I guess. 
What can we do? Income per house, 40%. Chance of fire increase. We have our fire guy, so why not? Helps money a little bit, I suppose. Not that it really matters. Consumption rates are definitely more important, I think. Uh, increase our marketplace range? Member club? Not much else we got going on. Let's, from its voyage. let's give him some beer, shall we? Just for the fun of it. There you go. You, they're loving it. Okay, cool. So something I'll be planning to do on this island, Crown Farms, is build up a big Docklands. And that's why I've been delivering all this construction material. Now, I must admit, I had, a, I had done one and actually thought I was going to put it at the beginning of this episode for a time lapse. But I'm just not happy with it. I just don't think it looks good. So I've decided not to go with that and just reload it back to before I did it. Um, I didn't do any other gameplay. It was literally just like, oh, I'm just going to like build. And then at the beginning of the episode, we'll just, you know, play the time lapse like I've done for a few other episodes. But just wasn't happy about it. Basically, my struggle with it was I wanted to incorporate uh, the sand mines. So sand mines have to be placed on coast. But now with the latest update, you can actually put them out at sea. And you can have them like lined up here. And then at there, whoops. So we get, let's just um, blueprint it, I guess, to show. We could have one there, and then we could have another like this, right behind it, if that was just, you know, out of the way. Something like that. And then you could have like a road going up to them or whatever. They need a road to be able to take their stuff back to a warehouse. And you can't put a warehouse at sea, and they don't use the Docklands Wharf as a warehouse. So you do have to, it gets complicated because you need to put roads out to it. And I just thought it'd be cool. They need a hero. Um. I'm always up for photography quests. I just thought it'd be cool to have, like, the Docklands surrounding this kind of thing. I, I had some, what I thought were semi-interesting designs. And then, of course, you have the Harbor Master, which can then ramp up production like crazy. And I think I would like to do that she eventually. Berry, my desk. But I just haven't yet found a way to make it look nice. So we'll have to wait, unfortunately, for my next time lapse. Unless I decide to do one during this episode. Anyways, one thing I do want to do is uh, we're low on zinc. And there's zinc mines all over the place here. Yeah, so let's start with this one. Get a copper deposit as well. I've got the workforce for it, so no no harm in doing it, really. Alright, let's just drag that out and connect those guys up. Oh, by the way, um, it seems like in the latest update, they're going to be adding, in the next update, they're going to be adding a reforest tool, so you can, like, paint down these types of trees again. I actually saw a little gif of it working. Um... Which is really, I mean, for me anyway, as a as a, someone who likes to try and build nice cities, is all it's just awesome. Times. Because back in Swords, there's multiple areas where once you put down ornament trees, they look really weird, and you just can't get that natural ground back. So it's really cool. You can plant, you can put down the um, lumberjack hut, and it will grow areas around it. But obviously, it leaves a big patch in the center where the hut is, and it doesn't grow for a long time and stuff. So it's gonna, I'm I don't know how it's gonna work, but I love it. I love what I've seen so far. Let's just get rid of that one. <laughs> Certainly a perspective to consider. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd mention it because um, that's definitely something I'm going to be sure. leaving some space for in the future. There's a technician on King William's Island. I have to have a look at what that's what's going on there. Why the Arctic's having problems now? Okay, and then there should be one more zinc mine. We don't need them all really, but I'll just you know while we're here, let's get as many as we can. Okay, so that's all the zinc mines. So what I want to do with that, that's why I'm building the Great Reefers. Um, I want them to take all that material out to the small island we have of Null. So multi-regional, okay, there we go. So coal imports. So currently we're taking coal from this island and we're bringing it to the old world um, and leaving it at the edge, right? Remember, this ship just goes to the very edge and then comes back. It's almost always between regions. Uh, at least that's the idea with it. So want to do that again, but this time pick up some other stuff. I could do it in one route, actually, just coal, copper, and zinc. Hmm. No, I think I prefer this way. This way you bring more coal at once, I think. So yeah, I'll leave it I'll leave it the way it is. Anyways, so let's load raw material. That's not the right thing. Um, zinc, 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 and then copper, and then copper the rest of the way. And then we'll just tell to go back to null. And unload all that. 
Is that correct? So we make a journey out to Null. We drop off all the stuff. Oh yeah, and then we have to bring it back. If we can. If we can't unload it, we're bringing some back, then... Bring it back and then just, just... If you can't unload that, discard it. You could wait to unload again, I don't really want to do that though. Um, so then we're picking up coal, then we're dropping it off. At Null. Yeah, and then we need to bring the coal back and drop that off. And if there's no room for coal again, then we, we toss it overboard. There we go. I think that's right. It feels like I've done something wrong, probably, but eh, whatever. Um, so yeah, we'll add another ship to that route once it's built. So let me just check my notifications. What have I missed? So the technician workforce in the Arctic. Oh yeah, something horrible is going on here. So they've run out of oil and canned food. Oh yeah, well the canned food, obviously it took, we expect a delay until it gets its journey back up here. So that's probably why that's all falling apart. So I love this game just because it's so delicate. All the balancing of everything is always so delicate. So these ships aren't carrying any canned food, which is the concern. We just seem to be very low on it. Until um, Lusk gets its extra batch of it. Oh, he's departing. So he must have just gotten it now. And that's going to be taken, I think, up to... Yeah, swords. Very slowly, unfortunately. Maybe I'll add a second ship to this. Why not? We've got to start using some of these ships. I've got so many just sitting around not doing anything. So we'll do that. That means more canned food is being brought up here. So that's good. Uh, and then the last one is going to be, so, zinc. This one, zinc and copper, which makes this route. We're going to add on null, because that's where it's going to get picked up now. I'm not sure how far it has to go up. I think second in line. Yeah. Um, okay, so... It's going to try and attempt to load as much zinc as possible, really. So that's like the capes version of all that. Uh, just add another ship here, the Dauntless. Accept that. We'll go back in, rename that ship to Joe's Mining Co. Just the same as the other ones. Okay, and we'll change its skin to the kind of more freighter ship. All right, things are cooking. So, um, now let's start thinking about, I guess, we need to build up the Docklands in Gnaw, this small little island here. <laughs> so, what do we need for it? We're going to need windows and glass and stuff. So, let's get um, this ship here. This ship can dump all the stuff, and we'll just carry that stuff down. And then we'll send it on another expedition in a while, because it's been a while. I've never put a hike on it. So, let's see what you can get. Wow. Oh my god, we have 2,100 copper? Just sitting up here? I don't think we produce any here, though, do we? Oh, we do. Is there nobody picking it up here? Sorry, let me just check that copper route. Swords. Yeah, we do have ships picking it up here. We just must not need it. Wow. Crazy. More copper than we need. That's, I guess, kind of kind of good. Anyways. Um, what was it again? Oh yeah, so all the construction material that we're gonna need. So windows. All those windows can come down here. This ship can take bricks. Bring it down here. And uh, I guess steel. Let's just deliver that. Now, I do have a route for construction material. Which is this ship. Just picking up literally just that. Now, where's it going? Oh, it's going to the New World. Oh, yeah, we're supplying the New World with steel. People said, like, oh, you should turn off your steel. You don't need it. But until everything's full, we are using it. So, I don't see why we turn it off just yet. At least I couldn't think of a reason. Um, so, this place is producing everything but timber. It makes steel, bricks, windows... Windows are probably the thing that I'm slowest on. Because we've only got, I think, two buildings doing it. These two, is it? The finishing touch? Yeah. I'm alright, though. It's fine. Everything's looking good. Uh, we can turn this building back on now that we have the steam motors. So our Great Reefer is almost done. So, oh, another thing I just remembered, actually. We have a diving ship with a bunch of jobs to do. And I haven't queued it up yet. 22 minutes left on them. Might have to focus on that for a bit. What's eaten? 
<laughs> oh, god damn. We got an Apa Apatosaurus. Part of the Jurassic set. Apatosaurus Ajax, one of the largest creatures to ever wander the Earth. How did its frame hold its own weight? And the other one is right there. Sweet, that's a good get. Part of the Jurassic set. So if we have a look really quickly over at our museum. Jurassic. So I might just get rid of some of these things for a second. It's going to hurt our influence, but I just want to see what we have part of the Jurassic set. Nothing. Oh, wow. Okay. Just pop those things back in to get our big influence benefit. And then the other one was, what was it? Um, heirlooms. All right, definitely going to be setting up another museum somewhere. People also said you should make it an amusement park. Part of the idea of this area was that it would have an amusement park next to it. I don't know if it would be quite right having it next to the vineyard, but it certainly makes sense to have it near the, um, uh, what do you call it? The worker class. Oh yeah, we're out of bricks, so we can't really build that yet. All right, well, some dudes are here. Let's go. Let's drop off those bricks. Did our ship get made? Yes, it did. Devil, devil may care. Okay. Uh, let's add it to... There's two... There's m multiple things I need to add it to. So we have an embassy route. That needs to go on it first, actually. This one. Elder Imports. What's that? Kushai Chatelai. <laughs> yeah, okay. Let's um, add it to this one. So this is another thing that I noticed that... In Tabarim, where we want to actually start... What do you call it? Getting, um, oh, actually, sorry, I'm just so distracted. There's so many different things going on all the time, actually. One thing I definitely I need to do is pick up one of those propellers. So, in Tabarim, we're short for clay and tobacco. Um, so, we need to go to the New World for that, and that's to help with the clay pipes. So, we could do that, actually, in a moment. So, the World's Fair has started, has it? Yeah. So, let's go to Tabarim for a second. I'll talk, show you what I mean. So this thing is, it's run out of both, and actually it must have just received clay. But the journey takes so long with those ships. Now what I'm going to need for clay pipes is quite a lot. Uh, let me see. Yeah, we'll just move them that way for now. Need to get another one of these right there. And then I think I need another two of these. It might be even more. I haven't actually worked that out yet, but I know I'll need at least two. And then I was thinking I could put one in here. Yeah. Alright. Something like that's fine. Could just cover this for now. I get a lot of comments on the older episodes, um, people saying like, oh, I can't see anything. It's so dark. I guess, um, I never really thought, I mean, I, I do think about it when it gets dark. I'm like, oh yeah, it might be a little harder to see, but I can see fine. I guess it might be a brightness thing based on different people's monitors and stuff. Or um, screens, whatever they're watching it on. I love that music, man. I don't want to leave the area now. Right, so, back to the old world. So that's, that's basically setting us up for the last two things that we need, right? We need... We're struggling with tapestries and we're struggling with clay pipes. So all we have to, the roots are already in motion. We just need to improve the um, rate that we produce those things and then deliver them, I think. Uh, there might be a little bit of tidying up to do, you know, to check that we have enough indigo to supply those buildings and everything. But I think, generally speaking, we're fine. Um, now, I sent my great reefer up here because there are some ships that I wanted to grab that probably have the... I feel like I put a golden propeller on one of them a long time, uh, a while ago, and they don't really need it. On trade routes. So let me just scan through here really quickly. This one. Scholar Imports. Like, does that need to have that on it? Probably not. Um, so I'm just going to move it up here and give it to the reefer, because the reefer needs it way more. Uh, the thing I'm talking about is this. The controllable pitch propeller. Movement speed 15%, cargo slow to negative 50, damage slow to negative 50. I think there is one that's even better, isn't there? But Oh, um, Tobias is here. I didn't know he parks up in the, on that area. So we should have more than we need for timber. I think our timber should be full up now, yeah. Hold the crane. 
There we are. Um, so, in here, I think there's also other propellers, but just not the one we need. Yeah, there's the blue one. Moving speed and cargo slow down 25%. So just gotta wait for that ship to get here. Uh, while we're waiting, let's hop back to the diving bell. Success at sea is not easily won. Damn. Remember, by the way, we're still looking for Black Swallower on one of these things. What is that white flag? What does that do? A white flag, it just enables peace mode. So you can't be hit. Alright, well, let's go back. So waiting on this ship. Yes, it's here now. So we can just do the swap really quickly and then just put this back on its roots. So there you go. You have your thing. Now you're off. And then you can get the regular propeller. Boom. Now you can do your thing. Great. Uh, so yeah, so I was thinking, I think I was saying earlier, I was hoping to do a an amusement park up here and have like, you know, the entrance to the zoo on either side, but like then have this to go a bit further back and basically, I don't know where I'd cap it off, but somewhere like this, something like that, yeah. Wow, that's real weird with the bridge there. It's kind of cool actually to have bridges wherever you want, I suppose. Um, but yeah, something like that anyway. And then within there, have the amusement park stuff. Because I've been, I've been looking around the island thinking, where would I put it? Um, originally, I thought like amusement park would fit really nicely here. Bridging between the investors and the uh, worker class. Um, you could have it somewhere over there. I don't really want it too close to the palace. I was thinking then a front garden for the palace. Again, somewhere like cutting to about there. This could be kind of nice. Or a back garden, whichever way you want to think about it, I guess. So not the... Um, botanical garden itself but just have the actual modules for this kind of thing you know and lay it out maybe have some fountains and stuff i could cut that road cut change this here and make the back look a little bit nicer so um for instance let's just cut it now actually damn i'm after ruining the road so something like that and i think there's ones that jut out yeah so that's more of a centerpiece thing basically just comes out a bit. This is what, number four? Let's change that to one. And that's one, and this should be four, and this should be four. Yeah, so now it's a bit more symmetrical. So we're just lacking a few extra modules there. So obviously I'm still gonna be building in Crown Falls to try and get that population up so we can get those last few modules. What's the next thing actually? Where do we need to go? 52,000, so yeah, we actually do need to increase things quite a bit um, when we go over to Cape Trelawney. But I think we can manage to Get a few thousand population there, no problem. Might be difficult to bring in extras down here, but I guess more scholars could be a great way to raise population as well in future. Because they have so many per household. Although I guess you could argue they take up extra space. They take up six extra grid tiles. Oh, I've changed... Oh, no, I didn't change it. Yeah. People said that you should make this another lion because of the land of lions. Which I thought was a good suggestion. Alrighty, um, did we get... So I've sent all those guys off. They've done their thing. Let's head back to, again, the dive. Let's do another dive. See, so we got 13 minutes to go. All right. Seems to be one right there. We've got so many as well. I don't know if we'll get all four done. Um, okay, so what Still else? So many adventures out there for us. Did I ever know? So we should have another. I keep one of the finest around me. Yeah, let's start dropping off these things. We should have another um, great reefer ready to go as well, and start queuing up things from this this place. So let's go. Docklands Main Wharf. We'll just uh, pop it in right on the edge here on the side. You could actually have it out there if you wanted to. Actually thinking about it. Something Jerry like that. <gasps> we want to add in then maybe two piers. And we could have them out the side here. 
does look a little bit weird. That's the annoying thing with this goddamn thing. Now I can't move it properly. Ugh, it's sticky. I don't know why it's sticky. I just want to move it one over, you know? Just, like, move it one over. Maybe it just can't do that. Um, which is fair enough, but I'll try it there. Something like that. And then, let's see, what can we do? Hmm. Yeah, that's fine, I guess. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, but yeah, so there's two piers there. So straight away coming in from Cape Trelawney out this way, they're going to hit into this. Um, then ideally as well, maybe we can have the uh, loading bays and stuff. So we need some depots. Each depot is two of these. So we can add at least four depots, I think. So actually, I think it might be even more. Let's check. It's 100. Yeah, these are 50. Okay, then. So let's just go... Uh, I don't know, something like sideways, maybe. Would it be weird to have it here? Yeah, it might be. Just do that for now, which is arguably weird as well, I get it. But just do that for now, and then that's four. Well, that's enough now that we can get rid of stuff, definitely. Alright, so all that space is freed up. It's going to send this ship over to Lusk. And uh, pick up construction material, material, bring it back to swords. Okay, so, what we need now is loading bays. Um, we're already getting quite low on things, but... Loading wharfs. A competitor's island is under siege. And that's going to speed up the time for us to load, obviously. Alright, so it's, it does not look good. <laughs> but at least for now, it's going to be way more efficient. What I'd like, I think what I might do is move that out to the very edge, and then like get things to line up a bit siege. nicer. But until we have the material here delivered, it's, you know, it's just going to be kind of a temporary thing. But at least we've improved the speed now of these um, fairly substantially. So we can just drop off stuff, get our great reefers to come in. Let's have a look. Do we still don't have that other one done yet. God, how long do they take? 14 minutes, I thought. Feels like longer. Uh, so is that done? Yes, it is. Boom. What do we get? A Court of Lost Dam. We have it already. Goidelic Stone Knot and Menhers. Okay. Before I run another one, let's just jump back out here. Do our dive. And then we're going to go to the New World again. Check on that cop- or, um, yeah, check on the coffee route and stuff. Oh, wow. Pretty good. Getting some decent stuff. Let's just pick some of this stuff up and maybe uh, deliver it back to Cape Trelawney, or uh, sorry, uh, Crown Farms, Hi. while our ship keeps going. <laughs> That's weird. The uh, tourism ship is not hasn't exactly parked up correctly, berthed up correctly. Alrighty, so how many is more to go? One, oh my god, so many. One, two, three, four, five, six. God. I love the noise it makes when we speed up time. Hey, another pitch propeller. That's actually awesome. Love it. Uh, let's see, where do we need to go? Somewhere out this way. I just saw my frame rate get a little bit bad there. I've been having so many PC issues lately. It's really disheartening. My PC is randomly failing to boot now, after all the work that's been gone into it. Got its new cooler, it's got that new GPU, but basically in the market now for just a new PC, and I think I'll get some specialists to test every part of this PC and see what, we can, what I can sell, and find out which one doesn't work. I think it's the motherboard having an issue. I actually did a fresh install of Windows and everything, uh, but anyway. Alright, what do we need? Plantains? Burritos or tortillas, Don't furs, it's the other way penny farthings, and rum. Rum's quite low. We're gonna have to wait for a delivery of that. Nothing I can do there. Uh, I could tell them to stop consuming it for a bit. My I suppose. Has leave to See if I can remember to 
to go back and tell them to actually consume it later on. Ship constructed. Nice. There it is. So, want this ship to go on the zinc route or whatever. So, just type reefer. Cape to the old world. The mudlark. And it could get that controllable pitch propeller, actually, if that would, which would be nice. If I can keep an eye on it. Alright, I'm just going to deliver that construction material back down there. And I'm just going to deliver that back up to swords. I know I'm doing a lot of manual moving, I guess, but it's fine. I don't mind. Right, let's check how the Arctic is doing. Okay, they seem to be back to strength. Going That's good to well, see. Actually. Yeah, going well. Still out of um, canned food, though, I see. It's not going as well as you could be going. Hold the crane. But hopefully they will be soon. They should be. I mean, I've, I've almost doubled the amount of canned goods we make. Uh, so they should get it taken up here. I wonder, do I have it set to have a, a limit? Yeah, they actually have a pretty big limit. Let's give it um, 150 just for now, because the glacier will run out if we don't. Altitude stable. Uh, maybe I could just check that again, I guess. Canned food. They got 50. That's good to see. And the other one's coming back. All right. Well, maybe then they have a little bit. Good. Uh, I never did the expedition. Damn. Oh, yeah. So when the ship gets up here and delivers his oh, bricks, good. I guess we could sign one off. Personage has arrived. Marco Della Mocha, crusher of beans. Affects coffee roasters and advanced coffee roasters. Productivity 50%. Attractiveness 10. Extra goods, coffee beans. Hmm. It's interesting that he affects the advanced coffee roaster because you wouldn't need coffee beans then. Productivity 50% is pretty good. Obviously, we take him. Ooh, a pirate hunt. I haven't saw one. I haven't seen one of those before. Let's extend the old telescope. Potential rewards pirate treasures. Oh. I wonder is that the kind of stuff that you can just buy from like Un Harlow and, and everything? Hmm. Should I scrub that mark from your name? Bag of gold, etc. Oh my god, this ship is decimated. Hey, should we go on a little um do a little piracy ourselves? Let's chase it down. We have four flags and we've got a some torpedoes. Oh my god! Is that Black Swallow? Damn it! I thought it was. It looks so similar. Damn, I got so excited. I'm still waiting for the goddamn Black Swallow. So elusive. So our ships, the... Yeah, so it's got a bit of a distance to go actually. and They're on their way now. And where are they moving? Let's go this way then. So we'll go a little bit not as badly against the wind. Let's see if we can catch it. Oh, we're carrying treasures. <laughs> the Kraken's pit. Attack. Where is that? Cape Trelawney. Yeah, activate that. See, that could that could have Black Swallower. Thinking about it. More than ready. We got so many weapons they're not even fully equipped. Oh, that's why. Ship of the line reporting in. Better does island withstood an there attack. You go. I want to chase down Arthur Gasparov's ship here. <laughs> See if we can get to it. Don't want to get too close to the coastline, though. We could get destroyed. Bring her around. Um, we got a helmet jellyfish. It looks like there's still a spot here. No? Okay. We actually can't see where the other spots are now. We haven't been given an indication. Must be pretty far on one side of the map. The Kraken's Pit, though. That's the one that matters. Cape Trelawney Skirmish, Skirmish, and Coral Garden. They're alright, but yeah, this is the one that actually could have Black Swallower, so that's the one I care about the most. This is the area that we're going to have to start building up soon. And we're going to put all these artisans to work on the advanced buildings so they can make coffee and stuff locally for the engineers. 
and the engineers are going to be on this island, and I want to move that clay deposit before we really build this area out. And the, I'm hoping that the tourism is going to be like here, and then a road leading up somewhat. That's the idea. Don't know where we're going to put the villagers. I've just been thinking like, oh yeah, you know, we can move the red pepper farm up here and have more village towns and stuff like that, but don't want everything to just look the same, you know, so have to think about how we can lay it out. All right, uh, so we've done a lot. I'm actually really happy with the amount of stuff we've gotten done. And let's just check on Docklands and everything. It seems like everything's fine. He was here just a minute ago. We have 900 gold, so that means it's obviously building. Steel is really high. P Pearls is staying afloat. Yeah, looking great. Looking really good. Definitely have an excess of everything, so I'm really happy about that. It's all been sorted out over many, many long episodes, deep, very deep in um, statistics screens. I think we'll put them on a expedition now. Oh, they're not their thing yet. So, really quickly, I don't know if I can catch the ship while it's out here. Yes, I just did. Nice. So this one's going to pick up that propeller as well. We can pick it up right here. Any sign? There we go. Got a signal. Looks like there's two, maybe. There's one appearing there. Alright, let's just speed up really quickly and get this last thing. There's only a minute to go for that um, dive, potentially, depending on which one it is. Oh, I forgot to take the photo. Oh, I'm so sorry. I like photo quests. They're easy. <laughs> uh, ship items, right? Did I not drop it off? Oh, I guess I didn't. It's still on the... Oh, yeah, it's still on the ship. Damn. Oh, damn, there's two spots here. We've got 20 seconds left, potentially. Let's just quickly dive. It'll get thrown overboard, but we'll just do it. In fact, throw this scrap overboard. Go, 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 go. It was crap anyway. <laughs> 20, 20 seconds, 10 seconds. Come on, just dive. Dive, 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 dive. Oh, if we fail, if this is this one, the Coral Garden, that'd be so annoying. Mid-plunge. Oh, it looks like we were okay. Hey, we got a, a mulcher. Okay, nice. That was funny. So, we've got 55 minutes left to get that last one. So, that's okay. So, just pick up all this stuff, and then we'll come back, bring that propeller over to the um, reefer. And then we're kind of done doing that, I guess. A better design. Withstood an attack. Alright, let's bring that propeller back up here. We'll come back and look at it in a second. I'm just trying to think, is there any other building I have to do? Other than make this not look atrocious. It's nice to see that they're... Oh yeah, there we go. It's the, the... what's it called? The supply and demand works. Even though, yeah, they can barely even pick up stuff here. That's why we need more ship. I've already put a new one on that, didn't I? A new uh, ship is on the... Um, yeah, we made a new Joe's Mining Co. ship already. But anyway, what that means is that the long and short of all of that essentially means that we get extra brass produced here, which allows us to help with stuff in, um, Cape, uh, in the Arctic as well in the future. But we were a bit low on it. So let me just go over to down here now. Only so clay pipes. Can create from nothing. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. The last thing, then, is that we need to pick up some tobacco, right? Tobacco is a problem. We need to send our airship down here, pick up some of those steam motors that we saved up at the beginning of the episode. And once we've got those steam motors, we're going to go to the New World, double up the tobacco production, because you may remember recently in the New World, we built a bunch of um, cigar factories and things like that, and we really increased the rate tremendously. And that meant that we're now basically consuming all that tobacco that's supposed to be going to Mbesa. Um, so we have to fix that. Now, I've just noticed that my um, tech is at the maximum amount. So let's just do some technological advancements. Pretty expensive each time now. 16,400. We could do about three before we have to wait. The patriarchy, the root of class struggle. Captains of Industry, Volume 16. Hmm. 
<laughs> Freedom for all poster. What is this? What what is this political agenda I'm being fed here? <laughs> I'm joking. Okay. Um, all right, we're here. The airship is here. All right, give me those. Um, oh no, we've been consuming the steam motors too fast. Goddamn. I'm going to have to pause that building. I haven't even checked, though, how much we need. So let's just go to the new world now. So tobacco is actually produced down on this island, and then we send it to this one. The tobacco leaves, that is. And then this island has the cigar factories that are pretty heavily buffed, and they do their thing. So let's... And there's a lot of ships waiting here. What is it for? Isabella Sarmento's ship is here as well. You're not on a wait to deliver, are you? No, okay, good. We've only got one pier, or two piers. I guess that's probably why. That's fine, though. All right, so anyway, these are the tobacco fields, and two of them have um, tractor barns on them, and two of them don't. You should go sit in the shade. But it looks like we have what we need to add more, so let's do that. Um, doesn't look like there's much space, though, to add them. <laughs> Thinking about it, we kind of encroach on the town at Still this point. Space here. A sawmill. Well, let's just add one in and see where we can f if we can fit it anywhere. I guess we could wrap it around this way. Yeah, if you really needed to. We probably will have to end up doing that. Alright, there you go. So that's going to increase your production anyway, but then you can go up to 288. So I don't mind having them living next to the tobacco fields. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's fine. Cool. Alright, so that's going to increase the production times three. Once they get their fuel delivery. Are they getting their fuel deliveries, by the way? Yeah, they are. Okay, cool. And this guy's got 192 out of 288. Okay. Ah, loads. We could actually have another one in. And we've got the workforce for it. A competitor's island is under siege. Sorry, I don't know why I was doing that. I don't need to do that. That's at 288 as well. So let's copy and paste another one of these. Oh, okay. Apparently, we don't need the steam motors. We apparently have loads. Um, that was it. Then we have all. We've used them all now. I tell you what, reforesting the new world would be nice because they have really nice trees. <laughs> um, I always kind of feel bad about cutting down all those palm trees. They're so lovely looking, and yet I keep doing it. All right, so we are. Tobaccoed out of our minds over here. Could get another um, warehouse. Maybe I'll just place the warehouse in a bit closer. A fire broke out. A building without access to a fire station. Uh oh. Oh no, it's in the new world as well. Where the hell are we? Oh yeah, the same island, just in the other corner. Huh, it's kind of a coincidence. Um, fire station. There you go. There's no fire station here, really. I can't believe I build it so densely and not put one down. I usually do. Save what you can. <laughs> the felt. Um. Okay. All right, looking good. We've left plenty of um, workforce and everything. I never actually put down a trade union up here. I guess I could do that to even further maximize it in future, maybe. But for now, I think it's fine. We should have more than enough. Uh, what do they need? They needed some bricks, do they? Any idle ships up here? No. I've actually got a little quest here to do. Do this for me. See? See? The yeah, I'll do. Is hot today. I could use a little help. The owner would like to have a picture of their family to leave at his altar once he's gone, but he cannot afford a photographer. He's kindly asked you to do it for him. Absolutely. Why don't we take a photo of Francisco Jose? There you go. Back of his head. I'm assuming that's him. <laughs> you know what? Let's give him some the respect he deserves. There you go. Better give me something good, Jose. Give me 20 sugar canes. Get back to the farms. Get back working the fields. You disappoint me. This place looks like a mess now as well. 
There's so many gaps for the coffee beans. Um. Oh yeah, we have all the plantain production taking place out. Is it out here or out here? Oh, it's out here. Right, what's next to do? Um, let's see. Not much, really. I mean, not, that should, in theory, give us the tobacco leaf. We've put an extra ship on the route, and we've increased the tobacco. We've, we've plenty of clay to bring from Cape Trelawney, so that's how they get their two things. Um, so that's how they make clay pipes. Now, for the indigo and tapestries, I haven't actually checked. I've just let it do its thing. It looks like indigo is slightly falling down. Very slightly. But linen is totally fine. It's maxed out. Um, and tapestries are growing. So, that's looking good. Now, we've got a town hall here, ready to have extra stuff in it. What about, um... Let's just see. What are these buildings called first? Tapestry looms. So, let's have see if there's anything that affects that specifically. Tapestry looms. Just the generics, okay. What about, um... Clay pipes. What are they called? Clay pipe maker, I think. Just pipe maker. Just to see if there's any specifics, you know, that replace input or something like that. Pipe maker. Ceramic workshop and pipe maker productivity 30%. And that would affect two of the buildings around... Or three of the buildings that we have around us. Not the one that's a little further out. That's alright. Let's do that then. They're missing goods now anyways. We just have to wait for these deliveries to kind of start catching up. Um, so they're going to be productivity out of their minds. <laughs> And then, yeah, we're going to have to find something that works for these guys. So, tapestries. So, let's have a look in the item screen. Tapestries. Tapestry looms. We have all production buildings, all production buildings. Yep, so that's just the standard stuff. Oh, sorry, unknown. So it's... Affects all cloth industry. Oh, that's an interesting one. So, I guess that might be the kind of thing we look for like this thing is it all cloth industry productivity 40% for the tapestry looms optimized automatic loom productivity 50% workforce needed reduced by 25 yeah why don't we search for that Let's see if we can find it so um item source I love quests the fire service they help me a lot and the research the institute we could banished. make one i might make a note of it and see if we can make one optimized automatic loom I mean, that would take a while, though, wouldn't it? But maybe if there's a time lapse, we could queue it up in between. Optimize. I'm just writing it down. Automatic loom. Because it doesn't seem like really you can get it anywhere else other than just doing quests for citizens. A competitor's and island hoping for the best. Under siege. Oh, this speeds up when you hover over it, it seems like. Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay, never mind. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then it just seems like, yeah, just whatever we can get that it can affect production buildings could work here, you know? Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Speaking of quests, there's a quest to do here. Our neighbor's landlady demands more and more time. But they can't keep up. What with the harvest? They're good people, you know. Oh, I know. Pay is high taxes. Okay, I can help him. Equip any item which improves the farms. Or select the landowner to talk to her. Equip any item that improves farms. I could try that. Affects all and best in crop farms. Productivity 35%. Enough for them to survive this year, but what would the Irenia expect? It just seems unfair. Are you worried the elders' unfair demands will continue? Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, thanks though. <laughs> and best in Highlands. Two horned chameleon. Cool, I'll take it. Could just remove that now. Actually, it said crop farms. So it shouldn't have actually affected this at all, thinking about it. Yeah, it doesn't affect it, actually, because this is a livestock farm, not a crop farm. So it literally made no sense. But okay. It's like, I put something in there. I was like, there you go. That's going to help you. And he's like, oh, thanks. And then moments later, he'll look at it and be like, what do we do with this, like, net thing? Uh, the Kraken's Pit. Can we find it, actually? Hold the crane. So there you go, sir. Coal imports. Crown... Crown Mines? I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, so, um... Oh, we didn't get to fight, um... Fight that battle. I must have forgotten about it. Our ships are out there. They've gotten away from us. There is a ship coming our way, though. We could just bombard him. I know people want blood. 
So our ships are there, and the ship we just looked at is over there. So let's activate the pirate flag on every one of them. That's so cool. They're like, what is that? What is that in the distance? Oh my god. Oh wow. Oh, we can hear whales. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Do they fire automatically? <laughs> I'm hoping they do. Oh my god. One point. Don't know if I want to use my torpedo or not. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Alright, what do we get? Wood? Wow. Amazing. Hey, they drop more things than they can carry. They drop seven things. Oh, well, I guess they could have an item on their ship. Let's see what else we've got in here. And you're right, it didn't... Uh, the guy didn't care. Whatever his name is. Arthur Gasparov. What I'd like to do is take out one of his navies to help Benty, like, recover just a little bit. That's the idea. <laughs> Such a random assortment of things. Get that sh a bottle of champagne. Alright, whatever. Off you go. We, have to d we do have to stay... Actually, no, we could attack the other one. Although it looks like it's moving away from us now. None of this is worth bringing back, let's be real. So let's just go individual. Now, I've never used a torpedo before. I'm not sure which boat actually has it. But let's just, I don't know, cue one off to there. There it goes. Oh my god, it's so fast. Whoa. I missed, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Really hard to see. But I just about caught it. Toss over that, um, rum. It's fine. Oh shit, there's people coming towards us, is there? Oh yeah. Station. Let's throw that over, but we don't need it. We need the speed. Cigars? I'll keep the cigars. Torpedo out. Oh my god. <laughs> I love how I'm like, oh, it's just pirates. It's not, you know, who knows who controls this fleet. Which makes sense. I mean, we look like pirates. I don't know why I'm picking on him so hard. <laughs> well, I guess he is dominating this place. Oh, nice. We got Topiary Gardens. Incendiary grenade. Throw out the grenade. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is so much fun. <laughs> wow. I guess what you could do is also activate your pirate flag and like patrol the coastline or something and just keep hitting things that are coming in and out. Oh, ship of the line. Alright, that'll be our final battle. Gonna give you that immersive experience. Uh, I wanted it to just come out of the fog. <laughs> oh my god. Surely at that point you'd be like, uh oh, this isn't good. Attention for the Admiral. I wish I had more torpedo. It would be awesome if we got like an actual, um, you know, an item for ships or something. That would be nice. What did we pick up there? Veneers. I don't want to hurt Benty. I be she's about to pass by us actually over here. All right, let's um just move my ships to station at this like little island here. All right, that was pretty fun. I thought it was cool anyway. Oh my god, it's so loud! Why is it so loud? <laughs> Jesus. Hey, 
That ship's attacking Benty. Not on my watch. <laughs> oh, we'll have to wait for our cooldown of the flag now. We won't actually be able to help. Oh, that's a shame. It's over. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, that was pretty fun. Uh, so I'm just trying to think really quickly what else we have to do. Um, back at Tabarim here. We've got those buildings in place. We've increased the tapestries. Tapestries are definitely building up. Now, I just want to check. Last thing to check, really, in this episode. Tapestries. Multi-regional. There it is. So we are trying to pick up clay pipes as well. And we've got one ship on it. The Scholar ship. Taking this stuff from Tavarim over to Lusk and then dropping it off there. So if you have a look at the um, production screen really quickly. I'll just select all islands for this because it's only been made in these places anyway. We can then have a look at clay pipes. We're producing five to the three that we're consuming. Tapestries, not producing enough yet to fully meet their demands. So it looks like that's going to need another building or something. Actually, if we just improve the productivity through some sort of item here, actually, then we'll be fine. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll just maybe go on the hunt for a productivity uh, item. And then we'll give those guys what they need. Now, obviously, if we're going to increase it and increase the amount of scholars, we probably need... It's own dedicated area. But this island, there's loads of space on this island. Help the elder tell her chil tell the children a story. Fable foible. Once upon a time, a long, long time ago, a kind of a king had a single son, who was renowned for being kind and compassionate to all. One day, as he was exploring his father's kingdom, he stumbled upon a young shepherdess who was struggling to get water from the well. Now, the prince was, a uh, very crafty, so he tied a rock to the end of the rope to make it pulling easier or tall and strong. He pulled the rope and pop, the bucket came up. He was strong. Let's do that one. In a matter of minutes, the prince had extracted enough water for the shepherdess's whole family. He helped her carry it to her house, where he met with her father, a poor old man who had very little to offer by way of thanks, but insisted that the prince stay the night. Exhausted by the ordeal, the prince gladly accepted. In the middle of the night, however, the prince was awakened by some low hissing sounds. Still quite tired, he sat up and asked for some peace, but froze when he saw two enormous pale snakes by his bed. Despite the danger, however, the prince kept his composure and... struck both snakes at once or politely asked the snakes to be quiet. Um, well, we've already gone with the kind of brawn over brains kind of thing here, so let's go. He struck both at the same time. Reaching for the sword by his pillow, the prince struck out and beheaded both snakes with one blow. But as they dropped to the floor, their bodies shifted, revealing two very young and now very dead men. Alerted by the noise, the old man hobbled into the room and started weeping at the sight. My boys, what have you done? You seem so kind-hearted. I thought you would help them, but now? How could you? Red-faced with shame and remorse, the prince fled the hovel and, at once and went back to his father's palace, swearing to the heavens that he would never again judge by appearance and would remain a friend to all, human or otherwise. Oh, that's a pretty nice little story. I too will learn to so, my heart. his will is done. Hey, affects tapestry looms. Chance of fire is reduced. Let's throw him in there then. Why not? There we go. <laughs> That's kind of cool. There's a lot of writing in Land of Lions for whatever reason. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. There's so much writing in the actual main quest. I'm always surprised when it's like there's other things like that that I, I still haven't even seen. Look at the traffic down here, man. <laughs> it is so busy. See, turned out good for both of us. Turned out good for both of us. This is why we need to. Um, these are three coffee ships. This is why we need to make that coffee pier. Um, I'm just trying of to think, course. is there anything else? How's the wacky tobacco here? It's pretty good. What about on that scholar import route? We just got the one. This one, though, has three now. And they have their propellers. This one has a jet engine on it. I think that's what I'm forgetting to do. Did I ever give over that? I, I did. Okay. Yeah. All right. Last thing then. Very. La I keep saying that, but we'll just look for this Kraken. Uh, maybe I'll just speed up time and go on the hunt for it. Oh, right, we can have a look. So this is definitely Cape Trelawney. It looks like an island like that. I know exactly where that is. I feel like it's this. It might not be, though. Yeah, no, it's not. So it's probably this island, is it? Hmm. This might look like it instead, actually. Is there coastlines here? Yeah. There we go. 
All right, I'm gonna speed up time. We'll let it uh, reach that destination. Uh, I guess we can unload our ships as well with our spoils of war. Um, but yeah, we're gonna have to start looking for some items to put in the town halls here. We want to do some upgrades, and then I, got, I think in the next episode I'll actually build out the farm up in this way. People were saying it'd be really cool if you had large industrial farms and livestock farms. I think that'd be really nice as well, like a really big livestock area. So I'm hoping to maybe do that in the next episode as well. Bye. Definitely want to do some time lapses. I know I've been sparse with it, but I guess I kind of want to just figure out all the logistics first and then build nice, if that makes sense. Stations. Um, all right, cool. They've dropped off their stuff. All right, our ship is almost there. Oh yeah, and I forgot to do the expedition, so we'll do that for the next one as well. We're in the presence of a virtuoso. Pope Lucius affects residences of town halls in swords. He has the hypnotist trait. Oh, we'll send him on the uh, expedition. I'm going to write that down in case I forget, actually. Pope <laughs> hypnotist. <laughs> Alright, cool. Heart swells like the Fuck yeah! <laughs> We did it! Alright, we gotta take Black Swallower back. We'll have to do it fast. Oh, the the uh, airship can do it. We got Black Swallower. Now we can finish the zoo properly. That's good. Hovering. So, what does it say? Stuffs prey larger than itself into a stretchable cocoon-like basket that dangles from its belly. I've got it. Let's go. Do you like that transition? That was pretty good, right? Pretty good. We have the elusive black swallower on board. Feels good, man. I'll pop that in, see what benefit we get, and then um, that'll be it for this episode. We must do something. The tithe is on, collected then. in large jars. What if we only put good stuff on the top and stuff the rest with dry teff? Everyone is going to be so relieved. Provide two, 20 teff? That's easy. Come on. You've got it already. Wonderful. And that's the last jar. You see? Efforts yield results, not complaints. The elder appears satisfied with the tax yielded to her. Exclamation mark in she brackets. Noticed. Good. I just hope she won't retaliate against my friends when she realizes. I was, oh, right, yeah, he said he stuffed the top of it to make what? it look. Yeah. That'll help <laughs> immensely. Alright, cool. He gave us a stop gate. Affects water pump and gives us extra irrigation capacity. I don't think we affect a water pump, do we? No, we do with this guy. So we could actually. Um, Oh, actually, no, we don't, because it's this is a uh, paper mill on purpose. But yeah, if we had one over there, maybe we could increase the capacity. We already have 795, and I'm always, you know, wasting some, you could say, here, f f due to aesthetics. Love it, by the way. Still love my city here. It's one of my favorite ones I think I've done. If I could um, blow my own trumpet for a bit. Yeah, I just really like it, just because, like... The way it organically is like built out all along the coastline and then it the canals feed in there's farms all the way up and around then a big production area surrounded by the farms and then the more industrial farms out this way i really like really like the layout of this place a lot and there's so much space that we still have i'm surprised we've done it that well um not so happy with some other places we've done though all right let's check on let's check the fruit of our labor today you know oh no Still with the oil lamps, man. What's your problem? Brass. Why are you low on brass? It's a surprise inspection. You've got a hundred there. We've got more zinc than ever before. And copper. Don't tell me we need another... Well, we could actually get another one, I think. I left space here for another one. Because we just added three zinc mines that get delivered here now. Albeit fairly slowly, but they do get delivered here. And then more copper than ever. I wonder, are these busy? Uh, yeah. I didn't really want to upgrade them. But if they're uh, super busy, then I guess it makes sense. Hey, we're here. Alright, let's get that black swallower. Off you go. 
And then this is the last place for it. Let's just pop down a thing. Boom. Oh, it's tiny, but we can see him. So, the reason I wanted to get that is because that should complete a set for us. Yes, it's completed Abyssal Depths. Increased chance of finding animals. Diving bell rarity. Increased chance of finding items of rarity, epic and legendary while diving. Oh, there you go. That's pretty cool. I wonder does that stack with the items we have on the diving bell as well. Uh, the reason I like this is because it's global. It obviously doesn't matter if it's just... Well, hopefully it affects other sessions. But, um, yeah, so we got our Kraken, Goblin Shark, Black Swallower, Prickly Sea Devil, Helmet Jellyfish, and Blobfish. Now, Abyssal Depths is also affected by the music here. So we get 30% extra um, attraction on those things. So we have a little aquarium now. You know, we've got three sets for aquarium. Aquariums, sorry. We have Great Coral Reef, Ocean Predators, and Abyssal Depths. We might be able to get something like Luminaries. I feel like we have a Firefly Squid. Let me just um, knock off three just real quickly. Luminaries. We have one. We definitely have the Firefly Squid. We picked one up not that long ago. But yeah, I don't think we got the unknown Luminescent Fish. Alright. Not a big deal. Just pop that back on the way it was. Okay, cool. Um, so yeah, I'll have to... I want to design this out then. Decide... Oh no. My game. Uh-oh. Oh no. Oh my god, thank you god. Alright. The game just completely froze for a few seconds. Everything froze. My entire PC froze. Gonna end the episode here. That's gonna be it for today. Thank you guys very, very much for watching. In the next episode, we're gonna design where that zoo is gonna go and add some extra zoos around the place as well. Thanks again. Sorry for the abrupt ending. Goodbye. Hey guys, thank you very much for watching. And remember, if you want to support this series directly, you can click the join button to become a channel member. Doing so will get your name in the credits, as well as loyalty badges and emotes to use in the comments. If you don't see the join button, it means the video has been copyright claimed, but you can still join from the channel page on desktop. You can also link your account to our Discord to get a special role on there that will give you access to the Senate House and a few other perks.